Hello children. Now teacher is going to explain an activity based on the lesson eight plants everywhere. You can learn more about plants by doing this activity. And the name of the activity is germination of seeds. What is the activity name? Yes, germination. Germination of seeds. Germination of seeds. By doing this activity, you can understand more about plants. Okay? Now you can see picture on the board, right? You can see two pictures. What are they? Yes, this is green gram. What is it? Green gram. And what is the next picture? This is the mustard seed. the ground for me. The, the root fixes the 
ground. Okay? So these are the parts of the plant. Which are they? Flower, fruit, leaf, stem, root. Okay? Now you can see the picture clearly. What is this? Leaf. L-E-A-F. Leaf. Which part of the plant is it? Yes, leaf. And this is the stem. S-T-E-M. Stem. Which part is it? Stem. Now this is the bud. B-U-D. Bud. What is it? Bud. And this is the bud becomes? Yes, flower. Big. 
while others are small. Some are big, some are small. Right? Yes. Now next page, page number 42. Now you can open your textbook, page number 42. Big and strong plants are called trees. Already teacher taught you what are trees? Big and strong plants are called trees. Here are some trees we often see. Now you can see the picture of neem, mango, coconut. All these are trees, right? Yes. Some plants are smaller than trees. Plants that are short and bushy and have many branches are called shrubs. What are shrubs? Yes, they are bushy plants and they have lots of branches. And these type of plants are called shrubs. So first one you learn is trees. Second one you learn shrubs, right? You have to read the lesson. You have to read it three times. You have to point your finger 
underline the important words in the lesson. Okay, children. Now next, let us understand. Write T for true or N T for not true. If it is true, you have to write T. If it is not true, you have to write N T. First one, the rose plant is a shrub. Yes, it is true. So teacher wrote the T. The mango and neem are big plants. Yes, T because it is true. We find the cactus plant in hilly area. Is it true? No. So you can write here not true. N T. Okay, children. Now next page. You can turn the page. Page number forty-four. Okay. The tulsi plant is a herb. Is it a herb? No. So we just wrote here N T, not true. Climbers have strong stems. Is it correct? No. So you have to write there N T. It is not true. The fir tree grows in hilly area. Yes. So it is true. Okay. Now think and answer. Find the odd one out. Okay. Now you can see different words written here. You have to find out the odd one. What is different? Okay. Pea plant, money plant, and mint. Why did you just circle mint? Yes, because pea plant and money plant are climbers. Mint is a herb. So that is the odd one. That's why you just circle the word mint. You have to circle mint. Next one. Hibiscus, rose, and mango. Why did we just circle mango? Yes, hibiscus and rose both are shrubs, and mango is a tree. So you have to circle mango. Rose, lotus, and watermelon. Why did we just circle rose? Because lotus and watermelon grow in water. Rose is a So you have to circle rows. Okay, children. Now next project. Visit a garden near your school. Now you cannot come to school, right? Try to find out the names of as many plants as you can. Note them down in a in your book. Okay, this you you can do later, or you can go to your garden, which is in front of your house, and you can note down the names from your garden. Okay? Now you have the activity speaking. Imagine you are a plant. Okay, you have to imagine that you are a plant. Say a few sentences about the plant. You may follow the example given below. Now teacher is going to imagine. Now I am a rose plant. Okay. My name is Rose. I am a shrub. I give flowers. My flowers smell good. Okay, so same way you can also do this speaking activity from your house. Okay, children. Next, writing. Use the words given in the box to complete the sentences. Okay, you can see the words short and bushy, big and strong plants, soft and green. Along the wall or a stick, they cannot stand still. Now you have to choose the correct. Write it here. Okay. First one. Trees are yes, big and strong plants. You can write it in your textbook. Shrubs are plants that are short and bushy. Herbs are small plants that are soft and green. Creepers grow along the ground because they. Why do you think Anil did that? 
cut down trees and should not destroy plants. Whether it is your house or whether it is a park, you should not cut down trees or plants. You should not destroy plants. That's why Ali told Meena to stop by doing this. Okay? He told not to pluck the leaves. Okay? So everyone should follow that in your plan. You should not destroy plants. You should not cut down trees. Okay, children? Did you understand the lesson? You have to read the lesson thoroughly and learn the textbook, exercise, and the notebook work. Okay, children?